Hello everyone and welcome back to Elohim Eternal. So I was sitting on the title screen a little bit while setting some stuff up and I I wasn't listening it to it that much beforehand, but this title screen is absolutely beautiful. I really like this song. So we're gonna be playing as Ruthia in this episode. Of course, they don't need to heal quite yet. We do not have lightning. That is not your weakness. Nope. Oh, I thought it would go first. That might kill me, actually. Nope. Alright, that worked. Mount Sinai must not be open to just anyone. Only the tr uh, truly holy, the truly devout, and truly loyal are able to enter its deepest chambers. Only the few shall be granted entrance to stand at the uh, highest peak and call upon Adam and Eve, Ur uh, Uranus and Gaia. Only the, uh, the elect shall call upon their makers and bring peace to the land once more. Only the few. And who exactly would that be? The Indonites uh, can't even agree on, on, on the names of the makers, the cosmic creators. Is it Adam and, or, and Eve or Uranus and Gaia? Or maybe something else entirely? All this tablet does is point to how ridiculous they are. Cursed place. I lost count of how many days have passed since I was trapped in this cursed place. I'm alone. All my comrades have long since died. I fear I'll be joining them soon. I can't stop shivering. And it's not cold down here. I think I see shapes moving in the shadows. The, uh, the sh uh, Shadim crowd around me. If someone finds this letter, please tell my... Ad Adelpha that I'm sorry. I should have listened to her. I shouldn't have stayed... I should have stayed with her. Now I'll never get a chance to see her again. The darkness grows even even darker, and my eyelids weigh, uh, weigh heavily. If I just close my eyes for only a moment, they will come for me. So many lives were lost. Even this man was the enemy. I can't. I can't. I can feel his fear. What a lonely way to die. Got it. Oh, okay, a heavenly will will do just fine for that. Oh, that's not healing me. Okay, I guess I could take more from it. <laughs> that's basically a full heal at this point in the game. 
Or any character, if I recall correctly. I really like the sound effect when you pick up uh, the currency. It sounds like chunky and magical. It's it's a sound effect I don't think I've ever heard in anything else before. I really like the sound direction in this game, honestly. Like the sound effects, like the music, it's all wonderfully well put together and done. Let's go the other way first. That looks important. <laughs> I haven't run into any other Canaanites. But they have to be here. Some must have uh, survived the battle here. I can't give up hope. I'll find the survivors and bring them back home with us. I only hope they're still functioning. I guess that means don't go that way? Okay. He's frozen solid. I shouldn't stay out here for too long. Wait, he's holding something. Should I see what it is? Looks like a, cr a crystallis. Okay. Huh, I thought that would be, like, progress or something. Maybe I am meant to go the other way. Yep, I was. Oh, wait. I'm on your side. I'm one of you, a fellow Canite. Uh, you look like an Indonite to me. And all Indonites must die. No, I'm not an Indonite. I'm like you. I'm from Ur. I've come to bring you and your brethren home with us. Liar, we've been trapped here for more than a decade. You've come to finish us off. Ooh, they have natural regen. No, I swear, my father was um, Marduk. The, uh, the Anakim. More lies. Your death is my gift to, uh, to Ahix. Enough. You. You're a Knight. What are you doing with, uh, with the likes of her? She's one of us. She's my sister. What, your sister? What has happened all these years? Look, brother, his sarks is generating. By Ahix, you're not cursed. Your sarks has not hardened. Tell us, please, are there more of you? Where, uh, where are your companions? 
Yes, there are more of us. They protect the gate from the Indonites. The gate. Damn it. Joshua. I was careless, and now my arm. Oh! Stay with me. Keep your eyes open. The gate. It's here. I found it. Jehudans, destroy the Canites. No, we need to retreat. Retreat? Don't be foolish, Lamech. There's one, uh, there's only one Canite. Kill him. They have us surrounded. Canites, is everyone alright? Atakens, prepare for battle. Protect your fellow Edenites. Ooh. One weakness. Oh, oh I didn't expect that to be the one. Uh. I mean, yeah, actually, that makes perfect sense. Like, robot and robot types are typically weak to electric in, in games. Or in RPGs. I might need to get a godly in order to kill you in one turn. Let's go for it. Oh, no, I didn't. Stop. Who are you? I've never seen her before. She's not a judge. Look at her skin. Parts of her are metal, like canite. I don't know her either, but she's beautiful. I'll lower your weapons. We don't want to fight. We only came to save our comrades. You think we're going to let you live? There's no point in this needless bloodshed. Canites, please stop fighting. All you canites want is bloodshed. You've killed countless Indonites. Your god, Ahix, is an abomination. You don't know what you're doing. You can't fathom the evil that exists here. This mountain should be sealed for good. It brings only destruction. Can't you see that? Let us take our comrades and go back to um, Ugarit. There are more of you still alive after the war? For now. It means the war isn't finished. Judges? It's no use, Rithia. We have to go. No, I'm not leaving them. Would you rather die? We surround you and our number exceeds you. Please lower your weapons and I promise you we won't continue this fight. All you want to do is go back home. We, uh, we will never surrender to Canaanites. Canaanites. Damn. Kill them. No. Have you gone mad, half-breed? Uh, Bayos, what are you saying? Hear me out, please. We, have, uh, we haven't seen a um, Canaanite uh, in almost a decade. We may need them. They occupied this mountain for a time. They may know its secrets better than we do. Our prophets and oracles will unveil those secrets. Who knows how long that will take. We have to see this as an opportunity. Is it true that the, uh, the Canaanites lived in this mountain for in, in the time of Avram? If we took the Canaanites as prisoners, maybe we could learn more about this place. Exactly. I agree. We'll take what we can learn from them. Their lives are in our hands now. Hmm. I suppose we could always execute them afterwards. We won't hurt you. On my honor as a judge, we won't. But you will have to surrender and come with us. Berthia, what do we do? The only thing we can do. Lower your weapon, Canites. Oh my god, his whole arm is... God. Um. My arm. The uh, canine surprised... That canine surprised you. I'm sorry, but your arm... This must be some kind of nightmare. I can assure you this isn't a dream. But you're alive. And other than your arm, relatively unhurt. Alive? But without my sword arm. Wait, I know you. You're that Atakin judge. You healed me. 
I bandaged your wound and, and have been keeping watch over you. You're a healer too. Is there anything you can't do? Cook. <laughs> that's, that's a really good joke. What? I can't cook. I cooked for my brother once, he was sick for three days. So it's the one thing I can't do. But other than that, I'm a, I'm a quite um, I'm quite a superb Indian knight. Obviously quite modest too. Ugh! Easy now. You've been out of it for a week. A week? What happened at Mount Sinai? Never mind Mount Sinai. You need to rest. There's a lot you need uh, you need to think. Tell me what uh, what I lost my arm for, please. I need to know. We managed to capture the Canaanites. There were two groups of them. There was uh, the group that attacked you. It seems they have been living in Mount Sinai all, the, all these years. And the other group? They are young. That's the only way I can put it. They, um, they're as old as you and I. You clearly must be, old, must be older than me. Why? Because I'm a judge and you're not? It bothers you that much, doesn't it? Go on. So, uh, the Canaanites are young. What of it? The young Canaanites hail from Ur, the old capital of the Canaanites in Ur, Ga Ur Garret. Ur? But we destroyed Ur in the war, did we? Perhaps some uh, managed to escape, including a woman who looks... Looks? Like one of us, but she claims to be a Canaanite. Let's try this again. Now where are my clothes? Over here. I can help you. No, I need to do this on my own. So this woman, is she a blasphemer? I honestly couldn't tell you. Either way, you're lucky to be alive. I don't feel lucky. It could give you, uh, if I could give you your arm back, I would. So much for being a superb Indianite. I suppose I should thank you for taking care of me. Would it help if I told you I am only half Atikin? Huh. It does help, actually. My mother was a Jehu um, Jehudan judge. She died at the battle at Mount Sinai. Ah, I'm sorry. I lost my father too in that battle. Then we have a commonality, even if it is a tragedy. Commonality is a word you don't see every day. <laughs> Come in. Ah, you're finally awake. That he is. How are you feeling? Alive. That's good news. You've woken up at the right time, too. The sin offering is, is almost is about to begin. Lamech will be there. I should go see him. Let him know I'm... that you're alright? What? Lamech? Ah, yes, the Jehudan Elder. He's come to visit you every, um, every chance he gets. He's like a father to me. I can tell. You should be good enough to walk around. But don't push yourself too hard. I'll be careful. Is he a judge? No, but he wanted to be. With that injury, he'll never fight again. Don't bet on it. A man with that kind of spirit, he's not likely to give up so easily. Regardless, shall we begin? Jericho. How could I be so careless? Who even heard of a one-armed judge, or even a one-armed soldier? I can't give up hope. I can still carry my weapon in my left arm. Ah, but it's a... Uh, it's shame I've brought it- I, I've brought- I've brought to Lamech. And my mother must be worried sick. I can't do anything about that now, I have to go see Lamech. The sin offering will be taking place at the sacrificial chamber. It's north of the main hallway. Okay. Oh wow, his sprite even changed. For his illustration. Well, his sprite changed too. Those are some big stakes to start your game out with. 
Uh, have I seen the green ones yet? Okay, it's a... It's a panacea. That's good. This wing of Jericho belongs to the Jehudans. The wing on the other side belongs to the Atticans. It's better that way. That we're separated. Otherwise, uh, we would just be at each other's throats. I, but he has trust enough each other to share a building, apparently. Tuh. The fights between us don't break out as often as they used to. After the battle at Mount Sinai, rumors of civil war could be heard at the top of Mount Sinai. You still hear those rumors, but there are whispers now. And the Council of Judges have made it uh, clear that there won't be any in, in front, um, infighting in Jericho. If you ask me, we're all Indonites. Fighting amongst each other makes us no different than the Canaanite, uh, the, yeah, the Canaanites. And we're supposed to be better than them. We're supposed to be the representatives of, uh, of the Cosmic Raiders. We sure don't act like it sometimes. Okay, so they're not gonna let me really explore, it looks like. This tree-like object is called the Oak of Mora. It's an ancient device uh, that the Cosmic Raiders gift uh, the Avram in order to help the Indonites prepare themselves for battle against the Canaanites. Using the Oak of Mora, you can make <coughs> yeah, you can make offerings for new elemental or divine uh, uh, magi, new equipment, and consumables. You can also offer your talents to purchase ne um, nectars and blank uh, cr uh, crystallos. Lastly, you can also sacrifice any metal parts you obtain for, uh, from Shadim in exchange for talents. In areas where enemies lurk, you can respawn these enemies using the Oak of Moray. Otherwise, defeated enemies will remain defeated and not respawn. Lastly, because the Oak of Moray is sacred, activating it will restore your, le um, your leaven... Okay, your HP and MP. Through the Oak of Moray, you'll be able to learn Divine Magia which is different from elemental magic. Divine magic costs DG, which accumulates in battle, it's TP, okay. There are various divine magia that can be purchased, but you'll need a blank crystal, uh, crystal, crystalos in order to purchase. Okay. If you can't purchase them right now, don't tell the player about them right now. Introduce that later when it's more relevant, because this is like a lot of text boxes for what sounds like just an ability shop, you know? <laughs> that is a cool sprite or design, though. I can't sell my lore. <laughs> oh, those sell for a lot. I don't feel like I need these right now. I think I would rather save up for, uh... 
Right now it just looks like a pretty run the mill shop, but like I, I want to save up for uh, for new skills later because that sounds very fun. As holy as Jericho is, its maintenance will will uh, will be the death of me. Avram and his Indonites. When they took control of Mount Sinai from the Canaanites, they built this temple as a tribute to the cosmic creators for their victory. It is said that Avram's nephew Lot was a uh, was the primary architect. I think that's a biblical name for as weird a, of a name that is. Some say Jericho was built 600 years ago. Others say it was built 6,000 years ago. It's impossible to tell. Much of what we know about the days of Avram were passed down through oral tradition, and the dates in our history are more symbolic than accurate. It fluctuates. Judges, prophets, and oracles are constantly coming and going, soldiers and merchants too. There could be a hundred people here at one time, no more or no more than ten. And during a festival, it takes everything I have to keep this place standing. And where do you think you are going? This is no place for children. But I want to see the sacrifice. Children are permitted in the chamber during a sacrifice. I'm not a child. One day I'm going to be a great judge. One of the elders. Kid, give me any more grief and I swear by the cosmic curse that I will beat you with the butt end of my spear. You think I'm afraid of you? You'll do no such thing, soldier. She's just a child. Who are you, a one-armed soldier? Joshua, you're alive. And well, you're a soldier of Jehuda, uh, Palti. How dare you threaten to be a child? Where is your training gone? She's not permitted into the sacrificial chamber. How old are you? What are, what are you doing? Bending down like you, uh, like you did. I did that because I'm taller than you. You think you're better than me. Adam, help me. This child is a brat. I have a name and it's not brat. You tell. It's... Evie. And I'm top of my class at the Academ Academies. Academies. Which is why I should be let in. Trained to be a judge, are you? Well you have some years before you get there, but don't worry, I have no doubt that you will. I'll take this I'll take care of this Palti. Very well. I'm glad you've pulled through, Joshua. Damn Attican children, respect is what they lack. What did you say, old man? Itching for a fight. I could take him. I, um, I don't doubt that child. I mean, eight Eevee. How did you lose your arm? A battle against a Knight. A Knight? Are you a judge? I'm afraid not. I'm like you, a soldier. I'm a trainee for Gilgin. I came all this way to see the sacrifice and they won't let me in. You must be both a certain age and be granted a certain blessing to attend. Not all soldiers have that blessing. Judges, prophets, and oracles do. Even Palti doesn't have that blessing, though he is of age. You have the blessing. I do. How'd you get it? It was passed on me from my late father who died during the war. That doesn't sound like a blessing to me. You're right. I would do anything to get my father back. Think you can sneak me in? I'll be as quiet as a mouse. Considering how loud you were of Palti, I sincerely doubt it. But no, I can't. One day I'll receive that blessing. Patience is um, <clears throat> one of several virtues that a judge must, uh, must cultivate. Take this as a learning opportunity. Why are you being so nice to me? I'm an Attican. Let's just say an Attican took care of me and, I, I, and now I'll take care of you. Does that mean you'll be my master and train me? Let's not get ahead of ourselves, alright? Go on and get yourself something to eat. Do you know where the dining hall is? I do, but I already ate this morning. You wait and expect it to come to the sacrifice? You're not supposed to eat before then. You're not? Fasting is a way of honoring the Cosmic Creators. You have much to learn, Evie. And you'll be one, uh, the one to teach me. You have a habit of getting ahead of yourself. I know, I'm working on it. Will you maybe train me later today? I'll teach you my secret technique, but you have to be patient. I can do that.
Oh! We Intonites are the children of the Cosmic Creators, created for a purpose. To annihilate the Canites, stopping them from destroying the children of Ho um, Hosanna on Shoal, and from uh, challenging the Cosmic Creators of the throne of uh, Ho um, Hos Hosanna in the Kingdom of Heaven. When our purpose is complete, we will be raised into the Kingdom of Heaven to the be purified and to sit in bliss forever with our loved ones. But we are not in, uh, at that in that time yet. The Cosmic Creators have not called us to them. Our bodies and skin are corrupted by Aiden, a, pl uh, a planet whose land, water, and air have uh, been ravaged by war. We offer this sacrifice to the Cosmic Creators to, clean, uh, to cleanse our bodies and flesh so that our pure hearts may shine even brighter. Uncle. Come here, Joshua. Let me see you. Let me see what those metal skinned bastards did to you. I'm. I'm alright. Alright. Your father will haunt me to my sleep because I wasn't there to protect you. It wasn't your fault. It was strange to wake up with my arm missing. I can still feel it, as if it was still there. I told you to stay with the group. Why did you break away? What? I heard a voice calling me. Are you a prophet now? Come on, Joshua. You could have died. You almost let, uh, led others to their deaths. That's not what a judge would do. I know. I was careless. I'm sorry. I just thank the Cosmo Craters that you're safe. I am, wor am I, I am worthy to be a judge. And now, even now, your mother nearly had my e <laughs> head when I told her. She understands. That's what makes this all sound crazy. She does. Uh, she does understand. She doesn't blame me or you. She knows you want to follow in your father's footsteps. But don't forget that your father died in battle because he rushed into it. I know. I'm lecturing you. You've heard this all before. I found that gate for a reason. The Cosmic Creators guided me to it. In your arm? Did you want to lose it too? Maybe. Really? Their ways are mysterious. Now you sound like a prophet. What happened at Mount Sinai? Should you ever- um, should you ever- should you even be here? Shouldn't you be resting? Has an investigation begun? There's a lot I can fault on you, Joshua, but your d um, devotion to the Cosmic Creators and their mission is not one of them. So you'll tell me. After the sacrifice. Listen, you might learn something. Cosmic creators know you won't listen to me. Besides, you have much uh, to cleanse yourself from. This is remarkable. Where there should be bone and muscle, there is some kind of metal. There is some flesh here, or at least something organic like our own bodies. But this canine is mostly made up of metal, like some kind of tool. You mean it's not human? Uh, we've always known that. I mean, it's less like us than we thought previously. Originally, we uh, only thought canine skin tone was due to lack of exposure to the light of, um, of the Kingdom of Heaven. That's not the case at all. Rather, this canine is both human and machine. In fact, it's more machine than human. Does it have blood? Surely it must have blood. It does. But I've uh, been told canine blood takes on different colors. Sometimes purple, green, and dull yellow. If you look at the severe, uh, the severed part here, it's clear that these tubes, like our own veins, run through its body. But the substance coming out of it is not blood. It doesn't smell like blood. Are you mad, Be uh, Bayos? It doesn't have that metallic taste of blood either. Do you want to poison yourself? Will you stop at nothing for knowledge? I like to know things. I want to know where we come from, who we were, and most importantly, where um where we go when we die. Bayos. The point is, it's not blood, but some kind of other source of power. Perhaps this fuel source is what helps it, helps it more. It's a life force. No. That would be this yellow glowing part in the center of its chest. 
its heart. It's not just a heart, it's called a sarx. One of the prophets of old did research on this part, um, part of the canite. Everything comes from this piece of the canite. From the sarx, a canite can move, think, speak, and fight. It looks like our... Kronsen... Kroshen? I guess. It does. And if you look closely, it's also where uh, Crystallis can be implanted. Or, or implanted, just like with our own um, Kroshens. But there is a difference. We have a beating heart embedded in our chest, and we also have um, our Crotians, which gives us uh, the ability to use Magi. Not so for Canites. Their very essence is in the Sarks. Everything stems from it. Destroy the Sarks and destroy the Canites. Exactly. But that will be harder than it looks. A translucent shield protects it, like glass but near indestructible. You would need to pierce its, its material with a very sharp and pointy sword or spear if you have any hope of breaking through. It's not an easy task. Our judges know that. Indeed they do. There's still one thing I don't understand. What's that? The girl we captured. She's unlike the other Cainites, and yet she was with them, leading them, uh, leading them even. She even called herself one of them. I sense she's uh, something more. Why don't you speak with her? I may just do that very thing. Whoa. Is that binary? <laughs> By Adam and Eve. Is it dead? It's dead, all right. You should have seen your face. Very funny, Bayos. I hate the Canite language. It's so barbaric and simple. Just ones and zeros. Simple. I think Canite language is far more complex than we ever imagined. Would you like to save your progress? Yes. I think that's a good stopping point, too. Alright, I'll see you folks later. Thanks for watching.